Hey, hey, everybody! I'm Argle Thunth, the Nancy Drew dude, and I'm solving puzzles inside the Baroness's castle. Oh, I'm finding dead men. Okay, um, not sure this is the kind of puzzle I wanted to be solving when I woke up this morning, but sure, let's find more corpses. Okay, this goes here. And that gives me another corpse. Nice. Okay. No, actually, that's not nice. That's awful. Let's give a fish to the evil squid. Ugh. Yuck. And uh, let me see. I'm going to dig here. X marks the spot of a corpse. And there's another dead man. Okay. Solving the puzzle gives me a golden arrow. That's nice. I, 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 I suppose. So the golden arrow's gonna have to go back here. So this puzzle, what am I gonna try to form? Am I gonna try to form a, a wolf? Let's go with a wolf. That wolf doesn't look like it's nice. Okay, so let's go with this. Ah, oh, man, doesn't look like it can go with that. Let's form a lion. There we go. So that was the uh, that was the creature we we're trying to form. Some sort of lion here. We need to clean off this portrait, right? What was this old portrait like? Ah, that is totally the Baroness's husband. And there's more to this than meets the eye. I would agree with you. I just don't know what it is that meets the eye. So let's fix this projector. We need uh, the lens here. We're gonna need to gonna need a slide here, right? Hmm. I guess it was just the. Whoa! I haven't seen this spot before. This is locked. Can I pick it with the ice pick? Maybe. <laughs> oh no! That's just kind of silly. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I have two knobs. I thought I only had the one knob. Ooh, another snake part. I know where that goes. And a dragon head. And that definitely needs a code. So let's use the snake part here. Great. So are these things going to go together? Yeah, we're just going to need a little bit more in order to solve that particular puzzle. And what's going on with this guy? Right, he's made of ice. Let's use the ice pick to see uh, his inside. He was a cold-blooded killer, a ruthless cutthroat. After wasting away in jail, he was freed by the Baroness. She healed him, gave him the ice power, and put him in charge of her growing army. His ambition made him a good leader, but he bristled against the Baroness's rule and plotted to overthrow her. She found out. Her punishment was much worse. She let him slowly petrify into a statue and kept him alive as an example to anyone who might disobey her. Wow, okay. So I think it's confirmed. Uh, Baroness, kind of a cruel person, but now I have ice power, so I can use ice powers whenever I want to. More likely, I'm going to use the ice power once and then never again. Do I use it on the snake? Hey, snake. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Wow. What? What? All that for a hairpin? Really? A hairpin? Oh, that seems like a waste of my, my ice powers. Really kind of does. Doll head over here creepy thing, but I imagine it goes with the projector over in this room. Hmm. If only I have this slide fixed, then I'd be able to get things solved. Oh, that's what this hairpin is for. Okay, it's good for opening up this. She I... killed her own husband? Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Baroness killed her husband! There's a guy wandering in the tavern, wandering guy, has information on your quests. We found the cave, it's the old silver mine under the mountain. We'll get the runestone delivered soon. Hmm. Baroness looking for some sort of secret cave, eh? 
I find this to be suspicious. I wonder why she was looking for this cave. That seems strange. Whoa! This castle is full of secrets! I have a feeling the cave is going to be our next major area of the game. I could be wrong. That kind of looks like the Baron. It looks like his heart was ripped out. Poor fellow. Well, I don't know. By all accounts, he was a really horrible person. So maybe I shouldn't be feeling sorry for him quite yet. something behind the mask, but it won't move, and I have absolutely no items in my inventory. Conrad! Conrad, my immortal love! Conrad, it's me, Louisa! Hi! Conrad? Okay, you just stay there. You ignore me. Pretend I don't exist. <sighs> yeah, Conrad. Conrad, why? Why, Conrad? And I was gonna say, it looks like we've got two more areas in this game. We've got the Mines and the Ancient. So what, we're like two-thirds of the way through the game right now? Maybe, maybe. Looks like right now I'm just grabbing items. That's too hot. Oh, why did I waste my ice powers on that, 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 that hairpin? <laughs> yeah, okay, and speaking of uh, the map, I can use the map to quick warp to another location. It looks like there's something in this location. The thing in this location appears to be a hidden objects challenge. That key. I want that key. Is that one of the keys I need? If it is, then I want it. Okay, that claw is broken. Well, that's not so good. I totally want that claw. Let me use a hint here. Here we go. Fixed claw. Skeleton key. Scoop net. Seahorse, um, starfish, snail, and I don't see the other item. I'm just going to use a hint. There we go. Great. Okay. Found the key. Conrad, come to save you, my love. Conrad, you're safe. That is Louisa, you have to believe me. I had no idea what they were up to when I joined them. I just wanted to repay the Baroness for healing my hand. Well, I believe you, Conrad. You're a great guy. But she tricked me. As soon as I found out, I left. I even tried to slow down the Brotherhood by stealing their artifact, but she doesn't need it anymore. She's almost completed her plan. Take this code. We need to know where she was heading before it's too late. I don't like how Conrad was part of the evil, evil brotherhood, but I am totally going to believe him. I don't think he was actually an evil culprit. He's just a nice guy who, who was deceived, deceived by foul villains. <laughs> That's not where I put this thing. Right, here we go. Here's the emblem. What is this? I don't. No, it's a ring and a picture part frame. Ooh, you look like a thing I need. Yeah, are you part of the code paper? Yeah, we've got some codes. We've got some codes here. Oh, and that helps me here with this lock. How? Oh, okay, I click and that changes what the picture is. Okay. So let's make this picture... This one's a Z. There we go. Should be it, right? Right? Hmm. What am I missing here? Haha. <laughs> Unless some are backwards and upside down? Hmm. Yeah, I don't quite understand this puzzle. Okay. Uh, might need to use the guide here, because it doesn't look like this is the sort of thing. Yeah, there's a guide that comes with this game, in case you get really, really stuck on puzzles. So... 
Okay, place the code paper and enter the code. Rotate it 180 degrees. Well, okay, so the code is upside down. Well, that would explain why I was having trouble with that. Hmm. Why did I just put the code in upside down? That seems like I was making way too much unnecessary work for myself there. Yeah.